Create2 allows you to easily compute the address of the contract that you want to deploy. So in this video, I'll show you how to use Create2 to deploy a contract. We'll first deploy a contract without Create2, just using the new keyword. And then we'll modify the code and I'll show you how to deploy a contract using Create2. Before we deploy the contract, I'll also write some code that will pre-compute the address of the contract to be deployed using Create2. I'll show you what the pre-computed address is, and then deploy the contract, and then we'll compare the two addresses. They should be the same. Let's get started. So first, we'll deploy a contract the regular way, using the keyword new. I'll assign this to a variable. The contract that we're going to be deploying is deploy with create2, and the constructor takes in a parameter of owner. So inside here, we'll say deploy with create2, I'll name it underscore contract, and then equal to new deploy with create2. And then to the constructor, we'll pass in message.sender as the owner. And after we deploy the contract, we'll emit the address of the contract that was deployed by typing emit deploy the address of the contract, address contract. Now, how do we turn this code so that we can deploy this contract, deploy with create2 using create2? To deploy a contract with create2, after the contract name that we're going to be deploying, we put in our curly braces. And inside the curly braces, we specify a salt. This will be of type bytes32. And the salt is basically a random 32 bytes of our choice. For this example, we'll pass in a uint. We'll name it salt. And then we'll cast the salt from the input as bytes32 by saying bytes32 salt. So this is how we use create2 to deploy a contract. The only difference is we specify the salt. And the salt is basically a random number of our choice, which determines the address of the contract that will be deployed. We now have a function that deploys a contract using create2. So now our question is, how do we know the address of the contract to be deployed before we deploy it? The address of the contract to be deployed using create2 is determined by taking the ketchak 256 ABI encode pact, starting off with 0xff, the address of the deployer. In this case, we're deploying from this contract, so here it will be address this. Next will be the salt that we passed in over here. This will be uint in our case. And then followed by another ketchak 256 of the bytecode. The bytecode here is all of the bytecode when the contract is deployed. So this will be the bytecode of the contract to be deployed, followed by any parameters to the constructor. To get the bytecode of the contract to be deployed, I've also created another function called getBytecode. We first get the creation code of the contract to deploy, deploy with create2. And to this bytecode, we append the constructor arguments. The constructor argument for deploy with create2 is just the owner. So here we pass in the owner. We call this function. We will get a bytecode. We pass in to get address the bytecode. And we'll get this hash. Once we get this hash, the address will be the last 20 bytes of this hash. So we cast hash to uint and then cast it to uint160 and then cast it to address. I got these two codes from soliditybyexample.org. For more details, go check the website. For this video, we'll focus on how to deploy a contract using create2. So now let's run through a demo. We'll pre-compute the address, deploy the contract, and compare the two addresses that we get. The address that we pre-computed and the actual address of the contract that was deployed. They should be the same. So I'll compile the contract with control s. Once the contract compiles, I'll open this tab, and then we'll deploy the contract, create to factory, scroll down, and then expand the contract. We'll first pre-compute the address. In order to do that, we need to call this function get bytecode. The get bytecode function takes in an input of the owner. When we deploy the contract, deploy with create2, the owner will be message.sender, so in this case, it'll be us. So I'll copy this account address, Scroll down, paste it here, and that is the bytecode. This is the bytecode of the contract deploy with create2 followed by the owner parameter. I'll copy this, and then we'll pre-compute the address. The function getAddress takes two inputs, 
the bytecode that we just copied. So we'll paste it here. And then the salt. For the salt, I'll pass in 777 and then hit call. So we expect the contract to be deployed to have this address. Let's now actually deploy the contract. So for the salt, we'll pass in the same number as here, 777, and then hit deploy. Inside the transaction log, I'll search for the address of the contract that was deployed. You can see here that the event deploy was emitted and the address of the contract that was deployed is over here, 0x6d5a ending if 10be. The address that we pre-computed is 0x6d5a ending with 10be. These two addresses are the same.